up. No paperwork right back like that. No paperwork podcast, man, with our guest GP the Beast. Man, Mr. Shout it out. Man, man, what it do, uncut man. no smut. Yeah. It's your boy GP the Beast, uncut no smut, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, special guest on the show, man. Yeah. yeah. What they call it? Sacramento no legend shit. Yeah, no that paperwork, part. man. That part. Yeah. Nigga, if ain't no paperwork, nigga, don't speak on it. Now, that we, hey, now we had you, you here me? before, but we had some we had some jacked up visual issues or whatever, whatever mm-hmm. with the camera. So appreciate you coming back. Yeah. All the time, you know, very man. much so. Shit. Appreciate you ain't coming. But a phone call away, right? Right. Yeah. 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 That part. So right. last time, man, we were talking about yeah, and we gonna put clips of of what we have, you know, the good parts of it online. But we last use time, a bunch. We we're talking about your books, man. And I told you I was going to go off and get some books. Yeah, you did. And really what did I do? Yeah, yeah, so can, hey, can you grab those books, hey, J.K.? Hey, hey, hey. So, so That's what I'm talking people about. Don't know, support, though. This motherfucker, a real author. <laughs> man, a real author, man. Look, uh, man, look what they got, man. They didn't went and got the Mac Dre. Shout it out, gang. Fill that nigga pocket up with a little bit of change. Ah, you feel me, though? My nigga ah. Mac Dre, rest in peace. Yeah, this is my experience with Mac Dre. Nice. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, how he came to Sacramento and tapped in with the boy GP the Beast, man. Yeah, then we made a lot of moves. You know what I'm saying? He peeped game. Hell he yeah. seen I was pimping. He seen I was rapping. He said, man, how, did, how you doing both? I said, they both go together, man. You know what I'm talking about? And he started doing this thug tism. Boom. Read the book, man. We was going crazy Hold during on. this time. I can't read this is a true story. Will you read it to me, man? Or like, you got like, to <laughs> put it on tape. I got to hear it. Nah. Uh, no, audio. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. do got audio around this. You know what I'm talking about? We shot an audio. I need a free copy. About. So we about to get the whole collection, though. But yeah. Then we got, we, 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 tell us a little bit about this okay, book. Okay, now this one right here, No Problems, Only Solutions. See, I, I live by this, man. Manifestation. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, how this came to me, right? I'm going to tell you how this came to me. And this became a part of my life, man, forever, right? So, I got this bitch in the car, right? I always go to the gas, I mean, the car wash every morning. It's a part of my therapy. It's, you know, it's therapeutic for me. Now the tweakers do that. They do? Yeah, for real. But shit, I don't know. These tweakers, they didn't have yeah, the, I, the I whips. Had that shit. Yeah. Had the whips. I, I'm in the whip. You know what I'm talking about? I shout out, I feel good. The windows up, everything. I like to get clean. So, the bitch in the car. Mm. So, I tell her some shit, and she tell me, Whatever she tell me, it went bad. And I said, man, I didn't want you to do it like that, man. I said, damn, nigga, you just fucked it all up. And she said, okay, okay, calm down. She said, no problems, only solutions. Boom. And I said, so what's your solution? And she told she had me one? what it was. And I said, I like that. What? And guess what? I live by that, right? This book right here is going to tell you, man. Uh. See, problems, right? People trip off problems. They're like, man, that's a problem, man. And I know it's a problem. And it hurt, right? No, it don't really hurt. But they, you know, they act like it hurt, right? I, what I'm going to do, I can't pay my rent. You know, you saw your problem, you pay your rent, right? You know what I'm saying? Whatever your problem is, it's always a solution to that problem. Right. Instead of tripping on the problem and harping on it and getting all out of character, yeah. just think calmly. Yeah. What's the solution? You right. know what I'm talking about? Don't eat it and accept it and have it. What's the solution? Fix that shit. It's simple, but this book going to tell you, man. Go get this book, man. We got this shit on our Oh, audio. that's the one written in them small shit? No, nah, let me see. This that one, motherfucker written in prison kite. <laughs> now, this one is written in small shit, too. Yeah. But now, sometimes it be like that. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got a thick you Bible go, right here. You can go get it on Kindle, though. Bible. On Kindle, it ain't going to be on small. Hmm. Now, this one right here, this is about oh, yeah, Donald J. The Trump. The new Hitler, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make America hate again, man. You know what I'm talking about? I feel Real that's shit. how I feel about that, but, uh, that, that dude. But 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 uh you know I wrote this book back then. But uh, for real, Donald Trump, man, what I noticed about Donald Trump, you know, I'm a, I'm a person that just analyzes shit. Yeah. I don't really say I'm with that and I'm with that. You know what I mean? If it don't seem right, then I ain't with it. So, you know, you as far as, and as Democrat and, and, and what's the other one? Republican. Republican. Uh, you, know, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not moving with <laughs> just because everybody been moving. Blacks go Democrat. I'm not moving like that. I'm moving off the individual. And one thing I don't yeah. know, I, one thing I like about this dude, I could say, he going to tell you how he really feel. And I like a person that tell me how he really feels. then he'll try to do it. And then... I know how to deal with you. And one thing I know, <laughs> we was having a whole lot of money when he was a president. I was in prison, though, but niggas was out there eating. You feel me? But anyway, check the book out. This is about his life, how he come up, 
how his mind work, you know what I'm saying, how he make all right. the moves he made. Just and, tell you, uh, it's me. written by me, Janeiro Patterson. <clears throat> Check me out on uh, Amazon. I, do, I, I, I own a home in a little bit of a racy neighborhood, meaning like, they're kind of racist. Right? So the Trump era, I'm having a fight with these other dads at the kids' school. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't, I don't look like them, I don't wear boots or whatever. Right. And we had a big old Trump argument one night, me, I drink. Next day I show up, I got this fuck Trump tattoo right here. Oh shit. Right. I'm showing them at the school, they're ducking, I'm like, like, does anybody else be happening? I'm like, man, calm down, I got this school, I got me. Yeah. Crazy. But hey, it's here now. No, I knew, I, yeah. I was hearing there was a lot going on about that, so you know, I ain't really into all that, but I'm just saying, right. you know, vote for who you want, but if you're black, man, just vote, man, period. Just take yeah. the first step and vote. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's real. They gave you one Whether tool. Whether you're black or brown, they, they vote. Yeah. Black, brown, they, they, you know they, what I'm they gave you one tool but to For to real, win. black and, and brown. use it. No, for real, go vote though, for real. This, yeah. this is not a game. At least yeah. do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, what I've seen a lot of people, like, they say, man, our votes don't our count. Our votes don't count. Right? So they don't so go. So why go vote? But if our votes didn't count, why are all the white people lining up to vote? And yeah. why do they get shit hey, done? I mean, why, well, hey, you know watch this. I mean? for, hey, for, for 10 years, I tell people, do you guys ever go down to Capitol? You know, like, you know, legislate, lobby, anything, anything you they feel important or have any kind of push or move towards it? No. You got a lot of voice about how right. mad you are about stuff. Right. We got a friend, BFD, an artist, good friend of ours. He was just down there. Right. This boy had been in prison for 20 years. He just down there going, yo, I disagree. Where's everybody else at? Go do your job. Right. Right. You think your right. vote don't count, but you ain't tried it yet. I mean, I can't. You I, can unite and I, do shit. I don't shit. really understand the logic, you know, how it don't count. Because if you one person, that's one. And, and two person would be two. So it got to yeah. count because it, it's a number. Sure. And it's going to keep adding up. Right. So the more people to do it, the more that add up. Yeah. You feel me? Right. Yeah, give yourself a chance. Yeah. You can't be like, if I so, would have showed up, I whoop your ass. I mean, you ain't show up. Ask no yourself, do you count? <laughs> right. Do you count? Hey, that part. You know what I'm saying? If you count, then you're going to want to be Hold counted. On, you know Shout what I'm talking about? Me. Shout it out. Yeah. That part, man. A hundred ants will kill a scorpion. That part. Right. Yeah. yeah. hundred right. ants will kill a whole lot of shit. Right. I never heard that, you know that I mean? before, actually. Yeah, that, and that's real, real though. Now no, that's real. You said that. 100 ass, and, and it'll carry some shit. Some super heavy <laughs> and shit. And it'll carry up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Some yeah. super heavy shit. Too. Right. And, and go back and get the other piece and the other piece and the other piece until it's done. These motherfuckers, we can't they kill work a dinosaur. Together. Like, come on. They work together. That's that's what their strength come from. They the smallest thing, but they work together and they become giants and they move right. giant right. shit. Right. You know what I'm talking about? That part. And the way we treat it out here... The only way to change, man, is to, it, we've tried everything else. We've tried the yeah. protesting. We've tried the not giving a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've tried going out there and, 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 and destroying stuff and fucking shit up that don't work. You just what can't, works fall, you is, can't fall victim to a defeat. What works is powers and numbers, right? What, Organization, yeah. right? Niggas lie, but numbers don't. Right. If you don't feel you defeated, mm -hmm. you're not done. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like if they whoop your ass, but you ain't change your mind, they ain't whoop your ass. Right. See, and they ain't changed, you know, ain't changed their free so. Yeah. We already know. We okay. We got it, man. We know. You know, niggas. Niggas can do that, right? Yeah. At first, you know, in the beginning, you know, niggas didn't used to do that. So when the first nigga do that, he said, "Ooh, that nigga's a killer. That nigga raw. I want to be like that nigga." In prison now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I want to be like that nigga. And guess what? Everybody became like that nigga, right? And now, so that ain't the shit no more. Mm. The shit is always some new shit. Mm. So let's, the new shit is. I'm looking for that nigga that's walking down the street with his burners in his back pocket, man. You know, like back in the day. Where that nigga at? We used to see that nigga and be like, oh, this nigga ready to get out. He ain't playing. Like nigga when you in the pen, nigga. When you see that nigga tripping and he coming out there and he putting them gloves on, nigga, uh -oh. you already know it's time to squabble, right? Let's right. get back to that, nigga. That that'll be a raw nigga to me, cause that nigga that mean we ain't about to, we ain't about to kill each other. We just about to get down, man. Yeah. We gonna get down and then we gonna be cool. My best friends became my best friends by acting like nigga they was tough and hard, and we got down, nigga. And after that, they respected me and became my niggas, man. Shout it out. Right. Yeah. No, There's I not a lot of that no more, right? Cause yeah. motherfuckers get down, they get beat up, and then all of a sudden they didn't want to kill. Yeah. Well. Yeah, um, I, mean, I might have a bit of a different view on that, but the people that's just shooting first because they don't know no better or they're scared or whatever the case, they got to go deal with who they really are. Now, I know people that they can't wait to see what's inside, like, you know, good now. And they fucking mean it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. You better grab your spork or whatever, but yeah. you've been here that day. You ain't got nothing yet. I mean, the nigga just trying to make us tomorrow's better than his yesterday's. Absolutely. You know so how many books you got out? I got 34 books. 34. Uh, that I sell man, published in I ain't buying all of them, mother. Hey, man, now, you ain't write all of them. You you got, you uh, AI, what what I, the hell is going what on? What I suggest is don't buy them all in paperback, man. Buy them all. Nah. 
on nah, the uh, Kindle. I, I gotta but, have. I gotta but, have it. Oh, you got to. I gotta oh, have. Got I have one of them ones. I gotta have but it. But man, keep buying them. Yeah, yeah. You gotta I'm gonna get the whole collection. Yeah. You, you, I will you, though. You read them you on know, your free time. I got hey. the Mozzie books. You know what I'm talking about. I got the How To books. You know, I really be. You know, everything I talk about, I didn't wrote about. Right. You know what I'm talking about. I didn't wrote about how. I really was getting money in prison on the bunk. This is how I got yeah, my mindset. Yeah, yeah, this is what made, this is what made me come out here and be able to make money without you know what I'm saying having to smash everywhere like I used to when I was young. See, I used to be smashing here, smashing to the uh, south, smashing to the P, smashing to the creek, yeah. smashing to the view, smashing back to the high. I don't got to do all that no more. Yeah. I could nigga be in one place, nigga, and make a whole lot of moves. Cause guess what? That one place could still be my bunk. But, See, yeah. I figured out how to get the money in prison outside of the prison. From where you were. Yeah, I didn't want to be a drug dealer inside prison. That was hella boozy to me. It felt like nigga, they was watching me, and then the niggas I was around, nigga, was informants and shit. And then once they catch me, they gonna lock me up, try to give me some more time, nigga. I wasn't gonna never get out. You right. know what I'm talking about? Right. I had to figure out how to make money in prison on the bunk. Outside the prison wall, outside the city, outside our city, to the next city, to the next, to the state, nigga, all the way, all the way to yeah, motherfucking right. Canada and Japan and all that, and I was really doing that. And, the first and I'm time still you see doing fruit that. from your moves, you want to keep planting them trees. Man, if it worked once, my motto is do it ten more times. Boom, not once, Bro. ten more times. Ten Bro. more times. But you from have a, a lot of time to prison. think about that in prison, right? And it seems Bro. like the, the, when you get out of prison, there's two ways you can go. You can come out. And you can make something, and you can go hard, or you come out and well, go back oh, in. But, 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 but right? back yeah, up, back, can, back up to you, sitting on the bunk. You can He's come saying, out and just do it, man. If you sit on that bunk, <laughs> if you sit on the bunk, you're eating everything they made you tell yourself you've been defeated. And if yeah. you don't accept defeat, hey, that's what I'm right. talking about. Hey, man, I used to don't tell them like that. this, you know, because they, I didn't got fucked for the, the the littlest shit and got the the maximum time every time. So, yeah. just like when I, if I got in trouble in prison, you know, I said, look, check this out, man. <laughs> Look, you see this shit? I'm immune to this shit, bro. I'm going to cut myself. Nigga, I'm immune. No, I ain't going to cut myself. I ain't going to never hurt myself. You know what I'm talking about? And I ain't never been cut yet. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But I'm immune to it. I'm immune to whatever you throw at me. Right. Nigga, any kind of punishment. Yeah. Anything, nigga. Yeah. It's not going to hurt me. I mean, it's not going to fuck me up. I'm going to just figure it out, nigga, and I'm going to smash on it and learn from it's it. It's not going to change my so mind. whatever you're going to do to me, just do to me, nigga, because I'm already accustomed to it, and I'm already looking for it to the max. So if you do anything under that, nigga, that'll be shot at. You Bro, feel me? So what you going to do? So we can get this shit over with, I can go. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And the same, same shit here, man. What'd you say? I got to be cool. I got to think. I got to understand, nigga, that uh, I'm black, and I got to understand that everybody ain't going to understand how I be thinking. Some niggas going to be thinking, uh, well, why is he doing this, and, and why should he do this? And But, nigga, it's a bigger picture. Mm. I'm trying to bring it all together, nigga. I'm bringing out the history. This shit that we doing right now going to be looked upon years and years later, nigga, as history, as niggas who paved the yeah. way, yeah. niggas who played a part in this shit. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't want to be a part of this shit, Fuck then out. you will not be a part yeah. of this shit. Right. And you will not be remembered. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to have niggas be remembered that don't nobody want to remember. Yeah. You feel hey, me? Hey. I'm Ooh. creating a platform right. for niggas that don't nobody want to interview. Right. So don't nitpick on this shit, man. Look at the bigger picture, or, man. I mean, or hate all your want, but that's on you to eat. I yeah, so talk about, you. Talk, talk, talk about your, your show. My show, GP the Beast Uncut No Smut, man. You know, it's the realest show on YouTube, man. You know what I'm saying? It can't help but be the realest. If a real nigga doing it, you know what I'm talking about? I talk about everything, nigga. My prison incidents yeah. and the feds and the state. Yeah. You know, when they thought a Sacramento nigga wasn't nothing. I talk about my pimping. I talk about my ups. I talk about my downs. I talk about my joys. I talk about my pain. You know, I interview niggas from Sacramento who helped pay the way. You know what I'm saying? I interview anybody that I felt like was somebody that I seen in my lifetime that I felt was doing, making some plays, making some moves, and help change this uh, country, little city, into what it's become. You know what I'm talking about? Because it then became a whole lot. Yeah. We didn't went through a whole lot. We didn't went through crack. You know what I'm talking about? We didn't <laughs> went through pimping. We didn't went through game banging. Yeah. We didn't went through the Mac Dre, the shot it out. You know what I'm talking about? We didn't went through a whole lot of shit. And nigga, we still got a long way to go. But we got a lot of shit. Yeah. We got the right. kings, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We is somebody, nigga. And in our mindset, nigga, we all real kings. 
We really got that mindset, nigga. We really independent, nigga. You know, like they got a, uh, what'd you say again, the Democrats and the Republicans? Republicans yeah. Nigga, we really independent because we ain't like nobody, nigga. We shot at our right. GP the Beast Uncut, no smut, Sacramento, Macramento. Yeah, and I'm the nigga that called us Macramento. I'm the one that changed the name from Sacramento, Macramento. That was not Mac Dre, nigga. Right. That was GP. Right. That part. <clears throat> yeah, you've been around the yeah. game a long you, it, it, time. You started out rapping, right? Like, that's that's where you got started, you know what I mean, with the whole uh, media Grinding. stuff. Right. Grinding. Oh, the media shit? No, nah, I started the media shit, you know, pretty much as a, a nigga in the game, a drug dealer. The first time I was on TV when they came out with the movie uh, Colors. Nigga, and, they, and the, that was the first game shit, and they got, the, the news ended up getting me and the nigga Pimp the Rail. We wasn't Kimps in, we was drug dealers. <laughs> but we had on green, nigga, and with jewelry and shit, and our shit was like, nigga, we ain't banging, nigga, we all about the money. And nigga, they got us on the news, which got us caught, nigga, because we was just with some other bitches, so our other real bitches see this, and nigga, we got in trouble with the bitches and shit, but nigga, we became celebrities right there. You know what okay. I mean? When did you start so, rapping? Shit, I started rapping, you know, when I was like that, a drug dealer, and I was still, you know, I used to come into the parties and like, nigga, go get the mic. Nigga, get the mic, and I start rapping. Nigga, this GP, the realest nigga in the hood. I come through, nigga, and you know it's all good just making up shit. Yeah. Nigga, you see the Barris, nigga? You see the biz? Yeah. You see me, nigga, when I'm pulling up in this motherfucker, just rapping and shit, playing, yeah. having fun, and yeah. nigga starts saying, nigga, that shit, that's well, kind of tight. When you're nigga. really having it outside, too, they're just like, now it's yeah, a new yeah, guy to him up. Yeah, you know, yeah. you got to somebody. And now, going back to your rapping, like, you were signed to Death Row, right? Right. Can you talk about a little bit about Death Row and the situation you had with them? How's For our sure. footage about that chain business you talked about last time? Because that shit funny. Oh, the business, oh, the chain, yeah. The chain, Death Row. Uh, with the Death Row shit was like, uh, my nigga famous. You, I was on the street, you know, smashing, doing my thug dance. What happened? Uh, oh, yeah, I had tapped in with a DJ Quick and my nigga uh, Black Tone, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Black Tone, you know what I'm saying? They was fucking with DJ Quick and Sugar Free. And I got on the uh, Mossberg Sugar Free Connected Project because I had been in the feds in, in Terminal Island and I was up in there rapping and it was a lot of L.A. niggas in there. I was tapping in with my L.A. niggas in the feds. So when I got out, I immediately made the music. I already had the songs and I shipped it to the nigga. Anyway, I got on the album. Yeah. When I got on the album, Shug heard it. Shug heard it. He was in the state for uh, the violation of With the somebody Tupac you knew. shit. And Famous was in there. Yeah. He like, nigga, I like, because the Mexicans down south slapping my shit. Finally, nigga, nigga. Revenge. They finally let the GF out the pen. Finally, nigga. They slapping yeah. that shit. Yeah, the final is right. That nigga should, like, who is that nigga? That nigga, I'll I sign that nigga. I want that nigga. Famous said, nigga, that's my nigga. He like, nigga, you don't know that nigga blood on bloods. Right. I talk to that nigga. That nigga send me money. What do you mean? Yeah. You make it, nigga will hook it up. That nigga should call the next day. And uh, when that nigga called the next day, <coughs> my other nigga hooked it up <coughs> and shot it out. Nigga, we flew to uh, uh, Death Row Records, man, and did our thug tizzle. And, and uh, let me see, I went uh, hooked up with uh, a bunch of law niggas, went to the studio. I had, I had made the song The Call. I had made the song The Call, and yeah, we did a deal with that, but then on the chain shit, you know, a couple of weeks later or something, the nigga <laughs> supposed to bring me the chain, but Sugar is in the pen, and the nigga uh, Reggie White, that nigga yeah. him and Michelle A, they meet me, they meet me at the, uh, at, the law, at the Sacramento airport, you know, I got the- uh, yeah, International. I got the 2002, I think I got the 2002 lack sitting on 20, 21s or 20s. I think 20s at the time was the biggest rims. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, nigga, them niggas pulled up with the chain and shit. <laughs> and he like, yeah, nigga, GP, what's up? What's up? You're like, here you go, nigga. So the nigga give me the chain. I'm like, what's this? You're like, nigga, that's the death row chain. Uh, not mine. <laughs> bro, I don't want that, bro. Was it a small one? It was the like the, just a gold one, plain gold. Like no shit. diamonds. Supposed to be None from Michelin or something like that or something. <laughs> and uh, he like, what? What you mean mm. you don't want the chain? I said, nigga, I don't want that, nigga. Mm. Nigga, I'm the only nigga on death row from Sacramento, period, nigga. I'm not finna. I, I want one. the one like Tupac. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah, yeah, like Tupac. <laughs> and the nigga said, and he said, Tupac, nigga, you ain't Tupac. I know I ain't Tupac, nigga, but I'm not wearing that, nigga. I'm wearing the one like Tupac, nigga. He's, and Michelle, like, said, he don't want that one with her. He don't want that one. I said, exactly. I don't want that one, nigga. He said, oh, you don't want it? Nah. He said, all right, then. I said, all right. All right yeah. Nigga, I'm gone then, nigga. Jumped in my shit. I was, I forgot who I was with. He was, I was like, bro, this nigga tripping, bro. This nigga trying to give me that boo boo ass. I'm not wearing that shit, nigga. You know the fuck? Now I you am? hot. I'm hot, nigga. I'm shit. Get out. Nigga, fuck this nigga. <laughs> fuck they talking about, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Never. You know what I'm saying? I go about my you business. You went to a sugar call back. <laughs> All of a sudden, burp. yeah. What's up, man? Oh, oh, what's up, nigga? What's happening? Where you at? <laughs> where I'm at, nigga, where you at? Nigga, Who's you that in my line? city. This the nigga Reggie White. Okay. Nigga, you in my city, nigga. Oh, nigga, I'm over here uh, 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 some, uh, at a gas station with some hotels, like some water. Oh, Discovery Park. Where you at? The Shells or the AMP? I'm at the Shells. Okay, what's happening? Oh, nigga, nigga, come get the chain. All right, nigga, I'm on my way. So I get there, nigga. Pull out this nigga got the other chain the whole it's time. Right? Oh, wait, so wait, he mm-hmm. tried to pull a okie doke. So he was going to keep your chain. He was trying to keep your chain. I told you they think these Sacramento oh, niggas man. be slow, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? He was like, I'm going to give you Michelle <laughs> well, A chain. Secretly, people of us in Sacramento <laughs> know what's going on. We're like, bro, like, what's going to happen next? Think a Sacramento nigga be slow, bro. I said, Damn. never. So anyway, you like, here, nigga. I said, okay, shout it out. Nigga, this the real one? I said, okay, where the chain at? He said, nigga, you got to get your own chain. Ah, he took the chain. He took the chain. Nigga, okay, nigga. I said, nigga, ain't you niggas worth 400 million? God damn, nigga. Wow. Give me the little one of the other one. I said, it's good, though. Nigga, I got this, nigga. Come on. That nigga pimped around. said, nigga, let's go get a chain. Go get a wrong one. I said, nigga, we about to be going crazy, huh? Nigga, death row this motherfucker. You see me? Yeah, that's how that shit went. You still uh, got that chain? Still got it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's, that's dope. it. You know cool, man. For yeah, sure. That's cool. That's history. Yeah, let my, I, I, gave, I gave it to my son. Even okay. though it's history, I gave it to my son when I called my uh, last case. You know, I had 17 years. And uh, when, I had, I ca- when I caught the case, he was uh, 10. And, uh, on Wait, the, well, which number is this? Uh, this the last one, shit, nigga. You know what I'm talking okay, about? Okay, okay. We, that's how that, we is that three? Then we don't. We just we we label them the last one. Okay. We don't, we don't okay. do the numbers. But know? they call themselves. Like, they be like, I'm just one, you two, know, three. GP, kids and shit. GP got his own way of doing shit. So my number is it's the last one, yeah. nigga, because that's the last yeah. one, nigga. I'm ever gonna do. You feel me? So anyway, I knew I had the 17. He was 10, and nigga, when that nigga turned 15. On his birthday, I was in the pen, and I said, yeah, I got something for you. Uh Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Because, you know, I ain't there no more, but, you know, I always like to make memories, man. You know, like on his uh, 10th birthday before I left. Well, I gave him that on his 15th birthday. I said, nigga, that's the first time. You sent it to him. He came to visit me, and I said, when you leave here, nigga, go see my mama. You know what I'm saying? She got it. Nigga, this gonna be your first dime, first jury, your first diamonds. You remember your daddy always gave your daddy gave you that. See, I used to give him really mm-hmm. exotic birthdays. Like I used to try to teach him. On that tenth birthday when I left, I had I had a box on the table, and uh, my grandson is they were celebrating their birthdays at the same time. My grandson had about twelve boxes from his mama and daddy and shit. So my son came to me and he said, "Hey, hey," he said, "Dad," he said. Where my present at? I said, it's on the table. He said, but it's only one. What's in that motherfucker? Hmm. He said, I said, it's going to be good. He left. He came back. He said, Dad. A digital scale. (laughs) He said, said, I can't think of what's going to be good in there. Why only got one? I said, look, man, you 10 now. Right. You know, when you're 10, you're going to get different kind of presents. Just I said, check one. this out. I'm watching the game, bro. Quit fucking with me right now, man. It's going to be a good <laughs> present. If you don't like it, bro, oh. I promise you I'll go get you whatever you want, okay? He said, okay, it's good. Fair deal. Anyway, when the birthday came, I'm like, shit, open your present. So when he opened it up, it was stacks of money. It wasn't a whole lot of money. It was probably about seven, $600. 
but I stacked it in five, ten, twenties, whole lot of twenties yeah, with hundreds on top. First shoe bucks, and he's money. just like, "Oh my God, right, I man. got stacks, I got stacks." You know, that was the biggest shit that ever he ever felt in his life, and right. he, he was running around telling everybody, "I got stacks." And <laughs> then, yeah, and yeah. then. And I said, okay, so when it was time to come home, I said, so what you going to do with it now? This is the test. He said, because his mama, you know, she was in the, in the street and she was doing shit at that time. I said, you don't need to let your mama know, but you need to give her some every once in a while. But what you need to really <laughs> do is learn how to spend it. Now, what you going to do with it? He said, I'm going to do like you do. I said, how do I do? He said, I'm going to keep it stacked up but I'm going to take a little bit off every time mm. just for the day. And I said, okay, shout out, that sounds like a plan. So <laughs> what really fucked me up is that week when I came to pick the nigga up. So I sent the nigga to pay his phone bill because I, I had him, you know, I had got him an Apple phone, so I paid right. a bill. So I sent the nigga to pay the bill, nigga, and he cut back and he said, Dad, you know what I'm saying? I said, what? He said, it, you were short $9. And I said, oh, shit. And he, I, was, I said, hey, don't worry about it. Money. I said, why? He said, I took care of it. I said, <laughs> I said you did? Hey. I said, well, shout it out here. That's real, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're teaching them young, though. Exactly. Yeah, that's, Bro, that's hold on. Let game. me just, a quick story about something completely opposite of the same shit. Two Christmases ago, uh, my bro come out with a money shooter with money. I told my kids. Go over there by the couch. So I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm like, is that real money? He goes, man. She shot it at him. I was like, how much you get? You got 10 seconds. The rest is mine. Like, that's what they're doing now. Yeah. Shoebox shit. Like, hope you got big eyes, motherfucker. Like, and that's a fact. I was in there fucking. I was like, oh, shit. I be some of the ones. You feel me? About 300. Yeah. Do it again. Another 10 more seconds. Yeah. Damn. Man. Yeah, they only... You know, they run through money now, bro. It's like, yeah. it's crazy how people just, like, these young niggas, they just, they got no, they, their money has no value to them, bro. Yeah. Right. They blow through that shit. You know what I'm talking about? I, since I've been home, I know I done seen my sons, nigga, run through money. And I'll be like, wow, nigga, if, you know, that kind of money, you know, I use that kind of money to get rich. You know what I'm talking about? You yeah. know, but... You know, it take a little time because we living in different times. Yeah, yeah shit but more expensive now. Everything, I mean, everything shit, is when you yeah, when, when you first got in, shit was probably what? Gas was probably like a dollar fifty. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you know I wasn't I mean? going that long, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> but look, everything is so high. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, yeah, you ain't man. going to the you ain't going to the fast food without spending ten for sure. No, if if, you know if, 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 yeah. a, if like a gallon of gas, I'm yes, fifteen. I'm just for saying, sure. if you try to be super stingy and like <laughs> yeah. get like two legs only, nigga, with the water, you know what I'm saying? But basically, it you're spending work. fourteen. You, you crush right. yeah. If, if yeah, milk, bread, and gas is all five dollars, and each. then the gas, we're burnt, right? But because you you ain't up to our money amounts at work, man. It's man, bad. Rapping. It's bad. But it's bad. But I'm gonna say this. Oh, this is my mentality. When I came home, everything is high. Rent, right. stupid yeah. high. Oh, yeah. Car notes. Yeah. The insurance, nigga, is a car note. Yeah. The insurance the old, is a car old note. Car, old car note, yeah. Man, for <laughs> real, that's a whole new car note. Like, what the for fuck? Real. Nigga, that's what the car cost. Oh, honey. Like, what high risk. Right. I was only in prison. I ain't been driving. <laughs> so, my thing is this here. If it costs more money, uh, it's a real simple solution. Remember, no problems, nigga, only solutions. It's a real simple solution. Make more money. Make more money, man. Right. man. Shut it up. Or go ahead and accept the feet. Give yourself 40 <laughs> excuses why you ain't doing it today. Well, I, plus nah. I was tired, woke up. Like, you know, it's probably but dark There's outside. so many ways to make money nowadays. There's so yeah. many. Like, ways. Yeah, and you figured it out man. by just sitting in your living room. Man. I'm right? Uh, it out. Uh, bunk. Sitting in the, on the bunk. <laughs> but, right. I, but I had to it's figure sick. it out again when I got out. See, I figured it out a little bit in, on pri in prison. You know, but I had to really figure it out when I got out. And it yeah. took a lot of figuring out, like, nigga, I'm still in the cell. I still stay, sec stay secluded in the cell. Sure. You know, my, yeah, my, I, my, I gate my, my family, homes when I buy them, yes. My family then told me, you know, you know, you got to, you know, you got to interact with us a little more. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really, my, I'm really on my mission. I'm on my grind right now. So, nigga, I'm trapped in that cell. And by being in that cell, nigga, I went and got that computer. When I got out of jail... I went and got the Mac computer, and 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 I got it with no money down. 
Now they charging me triple amount to buy this motherfucker, but I told myself <laughs> I'm gonna buy this motherfucker for the triple amount. They working me because it's gonna make me some money. I don't know how it's gonna make me some money, but it's some shit up in here that's gonna make me some money, and I need this computer. The price won't defeat me. Right? Exactly, and I kept trying. And I tried shit, and guess yeah. what? I found out some shit just last week. There's some shit that I tried. Shit, that shit paid me fourteen hundred. I said, "Oh, okay, that shit worked." Then I'm finna do the ten times. Boom. You know what I'm okay. talking about? Yeah. Well, it was, that's, what I, that's what I meant by like you're sitting on your bunk in prison. You are in the fucking location where they're telling you you've been defeated. It's over. You're you failed. And all of us know that's been a trouble before. We're like. <clears throat> Really? Rules? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> I said that. And motherfucker get up out of that. And you ain't never let that harm you. In fact, you you made a mindset right then. And they kept it on when he got out. You know what I'm saying? And well, I thought, this is what I thought when they was trying to break me. See, everybody in prison, you say, nigga, what you going to do when you get out? And they say, I'm going to do this when I get out. See, that was already defeat. So you had put your life on hold while you was in prison. Oh, See, that was already oh. the thing. So I said to myself, it ain't about, nigga, this is still my life. Like when the bitch talk crazy to me, bitch, why are you talking to me like that? Because I'm in jail? You ain't lost your morals. You, have you, you been, ain't begging you, on shit. Oh, so you forgot who I was because I'm in, not in your presence. Damn. So you think you're going to treat me different. I'm not going to accept <laughs> that. I know my work is good. You want to treat me like that? Right. This is the best time to leave me while I'm at my worst. Yep. Because that's where I'd like to come up from. You, you know how Mozzie say the beautiful struggle. It's really real, though. I really like this shit. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't accept shit. So yeah. I tell myself, nigga, it's still my life. If it's still my life, nigga... Then don't waste it. So your mindset utilize was I ain't putting my life on hold. Utilize deep, it. Fool. What can I do to utilize it while I'm in here? Okay, I'm limited, but guess what? These niggas is offering free education. And if I get this education, that's going to make me smarter. And if I get the education, I'm also going to get days off on my time. I'm going to go home earlier. I'm going to get that shit. That's, that's smart. Let's, let's right. use that. Okay. What else? Nigga, I need to create an income. I need to create an income. What can I do? I can't. I know what I could do. They offer free paper. Nigga, I can get a pen and paper all day. I'm finna start writing books. I'm finna write a book, and I'm finna figure out a way how to put it out. Now, I didn't even have a clue how to put it out, but it's like this here. You can be driving to L.A. from Sacramento, and it can be storming outside. I'm talking about pouring rain, foggy in a motherfucker. Guess what? All you can see is six feet, 12 feet in front of you. But nigga, you driving, nigga, yeah, all the way. You can't see all the way to L.A., right. but you can see that 12 feet. And that's what you got to do, nigga. Keep putting one foot in front of the other, and guess yeah. what? You're going to get to the finish line. Shout out to me. That's you know game. what I'm talking about? That's game right there. That's game. Man. That's it. That's game, it's simple. Yeah. You don't got to see that. You just know it's in your head, but you don't got to have the an answer. I didn't have the an answers. Yeah. I said, nigga, I'm going to write the book. I didn't know how I was going to get right. it published. I didn't even, nigga, they, all they got is typewriters in that motherfucker. How am I going to get it on the internet? <laughs> right. How am I going to get it on, on, on computer? Right. Nigga, guess what? I said, don't think about that right now. Think about writing a book. And I said, I'm going to write 10 pages a day. If I do that in th 30 days, I'm going to have 300 pages. Nigga, that's a book. You know what I'm talking about? That's one book, two books, Yo. three books. I just keep writing. I kept thinking of shit. What, what do I think going to sell? You know what I'm saying? And then it's like I bought a typewriter. Guess what? It took too long to get there. My brain had thought of something else. I was writing everybody in the back of the, I ain't got of no the bitch phone type books. Of shit. Nigga, I'm going to the books and I'm writing everybody that I think. Could you can you type my book? Could you uh, put it on the computer? Uh, can you do this? Can you do that? Yeah. I end up somebody end up tapping in. Boom. Okay. Shut it out. All it took was trying to get in the door. Get it once I got in the door and you guess never what? quit. I didn't you never even had the money. Feet, man. I ain't even out of money, but guess what? The typewriter came. And when it came, I said, I don't want it. They said, you want us to send it back? I said, yeah, I don't want that shit. Too late. I already thought of something. They said, well, we're going to take, the, nigga, the package people took damn near 50 bucks out the money. I don't care. Take it. And the rest of the money, guess what I did? I sent it to the editor. Oh, okay. And my mama said, that editor lady said she want us uh, $700. You only got 140. I'm not paying her. I said, Mama, I didn't tell you to pay her, Mama. Yeah. I just said send her the money, the 140. She said, How you gonna get the rest? I said, Mama, let me figure that out. Let me, I'll figure that out. It's not on you. It's on me. Right. And I knew. I didn't have a clue where I was gonna get it right. But I know if you start something, nigga, momentum is your friend. Right. Yeah, you, you were saying that, that last part. night on your life. Yeah. The part I caught. You know. 
He's oh, like, man, oh, man, you only friend. got to sit this 100 and sit this 50. And I'm like, this motherfucker just saying, like, who want to shoot me something? Like, shoot it. Yeah, so. Why you, I, I'm, a hate on, I'm not hating on that. Like, all right. It's like one foot in front of the other. Like, you're not looking at the end goal. Fruit you're just your looking labors. how to get there. Right? You're, 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 Never you're stop. visualizing the road. I'm looking at the end goal. But I'm not saying because I can't grasp it all that I'm going to quit. Right. What I'm saying is. You take the little bitty steps, bro. It's simple like shit. That problem shit you on that feel book, me? Huh? Like writing a book. You think I knew that I was gonna write all these no, pages? That one. I know, but just this is the point. Writing all these pages. Seriously, you start. Momentum becomes your friend. You start and you don't stop. You never stop on a project. You never give up. You yeah. complete everything you do. Even if you want to move to something else, complete that. Complete it. Get it done. Then move to something else. Yeah. yeah. That's game. That's a huge key to success. Unless you can, yeah, unless you can do like me. I, I multitask. I do all kind of shit. I do the books. I do the YouTube. I do the dog grooming. You know, I, I'm multitasking. Are you, you dog groomed too? Yeah. Okay. I, I became an dog expert dog grooming. I ain't gonna lie. My <laughs> dog's nail is long in the mouth. <laughs> Puppy love borders. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 9408 Kiefer, uh, Kiefer Boulevard. Man, we do the Ross dogs. Check me out on uh, Puppy Love Borders Instagram. Go see my work. Me, yeah. me, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's a good it's a good business to get into. It's the future. One thing about me, I can see the future. I can see shit like that. I got into it. I done got really good at it. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, but if a nigga like me do ten dollars a day, that's twenty thousand a month, man. It's, it's money, Damn. man. Shout it out. It's simple shit. How'd you man. get started with the dogs? I just came out, man, and I seen everybody had dogs. I said, damn, the females didn't replace the dogs. With the niggas, so damn, this shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta tap into this market I'm right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something going on with these dogs. You know what I'm saying? I gotta figure it out. You want like wash your so, yeah. like, Sure. Yeah, oh, so, but I like, you know, even though the dog game, everybody was telling me about the dog game, but they was on. They was on mating dogs and, and selling them and selling puppies. So I can't up. do that. I don't like the farce and the doodle and all that. I can't do all that. <laughs> I can't right. sell my I'm little not dogs and no shit, right? Kids? But now, if you bring something in, and want him to get groomed up, love, shot it out, whoa, whoa, we can do that because that's a service. And we do provide that kind of service, and we're really good at it. You know what I'm talking about? So you just see an opportunity and figure out how to profit from yeah, it. It seemed like, yeah, yeah, it almost seemed like, like there's one in this. You know, I'm not even sure he's thinking through all the way. He's just like, I'm at it. <laughs> this is what I do. This, I think this is, why, this is why I do shit faster than most people. This is why I accomplish shit because, see, me... This is what a lot of people do. You think of shit. You think of a lot of good ideas, but you don't act on it. And before you know it, you see somebody else doing the shit you thought about. You like, I was gonna do that, I but was you gonna never did. Do that. Where was you I at on that one? Oh, that was that's my problem. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you know what oh. I'm saying. So that's procrastination. Me, I right. believe that if I could think it, if I could say it, I could make it a reality. I really believe, like, I got the kind of power to be like, like this book. This was just a thought at first. But then it started becoming more of a reality. Like when I finally wrote it and it was in paper and it was a stack of paper, that was a closer a reality that it was becoming more of a reality. Then when I got the book cover done and I sent it out and got the paper edited and <laughs> it came back in white, black and white, that became a closer reality of it. And then when I actually sent it out and got it printed with Amazon and it came back and they said, this is your example. And I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker wow, is, is becoming an real. asset now. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's pow. It's like really power. Like if you can think it, visualize it and act on it, you could turn it into a reality and you could do anything with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I did. Anything. Yeah. Like, anything. Like, people was, people, you know, people will poke holes in your ideas if you got a good idea. So sometimes you can't tell everybody what bro, you're thinking. Bro. You just got to act on that shit and make it a reality because you might see shit that they don't. That's right. real. They, you heard it, you learned that shit in church. Like, don't let people in on your business. They'll speak life or death on it. We're so dumb. We're like five thousand new motherfuckers was talking about me. Okay, well, careful, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It is power manifestation in my world. So yeah, before you leave, I'm gonna have you sign these. For sure. Because I need these signed. You for know what I sure. mean? And I'm gonna collect the rest because I'm a collector of things. You know what I mean? Especially harder. I support. Well, no, I support my people. I support people out there. Like for if sure. I know you in real life, yeah. like I'm not gonna go. I, 
If you if you cook hamburgers, I'm not going to McDonald's and, and you're around. I'm gonna buy from you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, actually I feel I feel I feel jealous it. and inferior because no, yeah, I no. can't afford to do I said, that. I, I said, want to. to. I said I well, feel jealous and inferior because I can't afford to do that. I want to. I just <laughs> right. No, but I'm. I, <laughs> you know, some poor old people. Man, you know, people you teasing, can, like, why don't you buy your pot of I'm like, man, you can't just give me one. I'm that guy they talking about. No, nah, but <laughs> if you already eat that shit, then buy it from him. Absolutely. Right. If you already Absolutely. get your dog groomed, then go support uh, right. GP. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you, if, if, You're like, nah, that's a bubble If, if he closer. got a podcast, then GP, you know, go support uh, uh, No yeah. Paper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No Paperwork. Yeah. Nigga, they fuck, they yeah. fuck, you know what I'm saying? Right. We tapping yeah. in. You got to support. That's all what I try shit. to do. I mean, you can't do it all the time, but you if I'm going to do it, like, you know, if I, if I need a t-shirt and I know the homie's selling a t-shirt, man, I'm going to yeah. buy the homie's t-shirt. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? For Why sure. am I going to give it to, to, to a corporation when I could help feed my people? That you know part. what I mean? And all I ask in return is do the same. Yeah. And if we yeah. do that, you know what I mean? Together, man, that grows, that grows our services. Right. That that's grows graduation from yeah. this game because that, you're raised the other way. Like, oh, you're going to try to be a buck more? Right. Fuck you then. And that's your partner. Because I want to see you win, right. just like I want to win. Right. So let's help each other win. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean? But, I mean, people, a that's lot of people will win. see it as competition. Yeah. No, that's, like, that's you know, yeah. But I don't see it way. as competition. I see it as, man, nah. we got to we, we gotta help each other build. Right. Yeah. You know each what I'm saying? If you, if you compete, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. That's like crabs in a bucket. Right. You see a nigga getting to the top, you trying to compete. You trying to get to the top, but you grabbing on him, bringing him down. Well, hold on, though. No. You know what I'm talking about? One get out and be in panic now by myself <laughs> yeah, and right. want the fuck back in there. The, see, when all y'all supposed to build that chain, get the fuck out of here. Right. Help, help. Is that, right. that, and the one that get out, be, be in a new place because the rest ain't haven't came. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's like, get me back in there. The same but shit people we read quick about. to see yeah. somebody winning and then like, oh, I'm not going to support them no more. They already got enough. It's displacement of your thoughts, nah, man. Own yourself, not, own your thoughts. That's not how it keep is, moving. man. You want to see your people win. You want to see them continue win. So you keep on supporting. You keep on, sure. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's just something your body that can't get all the way up the hill yet. Hurry up, right. fat ass. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, if you see a homie selling bottled waters trying to make it, man. Buy a bottle of water. I ain't gonna lie, I'm roasting that phone. Like, man, get the fuck in the car. <laughs> I love you, man. No, but I support like lemonade stands and shit like that. You know what I mean? The 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 little Mexican on the corner was selling strawberries. I'll buy strawberries from there. If I'm gonna go to the store and buy the strawberries, I'm gonna support my people. You know what I mean? Just For sure. And, I mean, like we used to chase that's down how we do it. people. That's how like, you're supposed to do it. Kid on the corner with strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, the that. Lothar man. <laughs> the the. the, the the palatero man, the good yes, shit. like I you just, know what it's because I, mean? I like it. I'm gonna go lie again. I'm going. This is. I'm being honest. I'm selfish. Yeah, the dude selling little clothes right. and shit. The little clothes. Your corner store liquor store. Here. You know what I mean? Store for shit. Sure. Like why go to A and PM to buy a six pack when you can go to you know the corner liquor store in your hood, the right. one that services you, the one that you know what I mean. That's in your neighborhood. That's right there with you. Support your people for sure. And and a little bit counts. You know what I mean? Each dollar counts. We all got mouths to feed, but you're going to buy that shit anyway. Well, see, I can't Might explain well that to my miserable people. wife. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's going to take 10 more minutes because, you know, I'm <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah, man. So what do you what, what, what do you got planned going on next, man? What what, what are your plans with the with this podcast? Will like, you how even are you tell? Going? Shit. I want to know. Give me some inside. Shit, man, you know. Well, because you spend a lot of game anyway, right? Yeah. You, you know, you give a motherfuckers game every day. Right, you gave us game. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, what do you what do you got in the future, man? What do you what are your plans? Man, you know what I'm saying I'm just you know I'm winging this motherfucker. I'm improvising. You know what I'm saying I'm learning about this shit. Same. You know what I'm saying I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing you know what's good. But I'm I'm peep, I'm picking at it right now. Like yesterday, I just actually spent the whole day actually learning. Like, what the fuck does make nigga your videos get numbers? You know, how does the algorithm really do work? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I've been, you know, I've, I've actually just been lucky. You know, I don't even know I ain't lucky, but I'm a workhorse. So I've been pushing shit out there. You know, I'm, I got interviews. I've, I'm attracted shit, you know, and I'm like, when I started, it was prison, but I'm like, nigga, I'm not prison. I'm not just prison, nigga. Yeah. I'm too much shit. Right. You know, I'm, 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 I didn't been a drug dealer. I didn't been a pimp. You know, I didn't been, yeah. I didn't, nigga, been legal. You know what I'm saying? And so, it, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what direction it's going because I am so many things, but I know this is what I try to put into my people here. This is the main thing. Yeah. It's two things I'm trying to accomplish here. This is what I do know. I'm trying to get my young niggas to tap in, man. 
so they could see, man, it's really a life to live outside of just being a, a killer and killing people and living in a four block radius. Is, right. and, you know what I'm saying? Being a, a rap star in your four block radius. You know, it's really a tragic, it's, it's tragic that they can't enjoy the whole city. You know, they can't fuck bitches from other hoods. You know what I'm talking about? They yeah. can't interact with other rappers and people with talent. They can't enjoy the stores and the malls and the gas stations. You know, they it's, it, that's a pity. So the one thing is, is I'm really trying to get them to all to come together yeah. and see the vision that, you know, you, you know, I, I got it, nigga. I know you can kill up shit and all that, nigga, but can you save a body? Can you stop your next bro from getting killed or your nephew or your uncle or your niece? Help a mother get nigga, on. As he's kids continue to grow up under this culture and you and they raised under hate like nigga don't we don't fuck with him nigga we don't play their music all right here in the sacramento that's crazy bro i mean I, all i'm saying is keep the same mentality right. and and claim your hood but nigga let's expand nigga make sacramento niggas your brother you know what i'm saying right. make your motherfucking gang bigger always been you know what i'm talking about unity. make it bigger so in something that, that's more enjoyable, you know, you got to buy less guns, nigga, if your enemy don't live across the street. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga, your son will live longer, nigga, if your enemy don't live across the street. You know what I'm saying? So that's the one thing that I'm trying to tap in. The other thing that I'm tapping in is that, you know, you know, y'all see how I come home. You see how nigga smash, you know, and get into this game and start finding a way to make money, nigga, finding a lane, something to jump in, figuring it out, nigga, how I'm going to make this money. See, the thing, you know, you niggas know, y'all used to me coming home. You know, I know everybody was like, what he going to do? He going to be a pimp? What do you do? Y'all, he's a pimp, he's a drug dealer, he's something, nigga. Some, some that's uh, unsavory criminal. and distasteful, exactly. Criminal. Some criminal, but now they say, damn, I ain't really seen a nigga do a criminal thing yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, a nigga really grooming dogs? Nigga, that's a big difference. How could he be a pimp and he grooming dogs? Ain't he really advertising this shit? So it's, Where does you know, ego go? So right. I'm changing my image. I'm changing my character. But the main thing that I'm trying to show y'all is we can all grow together, nigga. Y'all mm -hmm. gonna see me get this money from the ground yeah. up. A year from now, nigga, I might be stupid balling. Nigga, we can do this shit together. I, as, I, as I take every step... Nigga, y'all now y'all get to watch me. Instead of saying, how that nigga GP be doing that? Nigga, I'm finna show you. I'm finna show you every step. I'm gonna give you the game, well, nigga, every step sub, of the way. Right, yeah. You feel me? Right. And I'm a, nigga, we all gonna blow. Nigga, but in order to do that, if you want this money game, nigga, you gotta come together. You know what I'm talking about? We gotta open these studios for these young niggas, and we can say, nigga, guess what? You can get free studio time. Right. You just can't rap about killing nobody in Sacramento, nigga. Period, yeah. nigga. But no, we just we just had a Sacramento yeah. Day of but Unity, four fourteen. Right here, we already we, look. Yeah, we already got a spot. We got Empire nigga, Studio. People already tapping in, like, bro, what's the name of your shit? This Empire Studio, All Star Criminal Records for sure. But but we just had a day, of, a Sac Day of Unity. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't have it. Was it was put together by Bo Biz and Mad Dog, the artists out of Sac, right? Um, everybody got a bunch of homeboys got together. Nathaniel's got together and try to you know bridge the gap that they have, the divide that they have in Sacramento. And yeah. I just happened to be a special guest. Yeah, it was invite sure. only. Uh, I, I I knew Bo Biz and, and Mad Dog for a while, but these are like well known yeah. artists from here in Sacramento yeah. as far as the homeboys yeah. Nathaniel's. And uh, it was a Sac Day of Unity, 414. They're going to continue to do that. And they're getting people together. And a lot of people said it couldn't happen and it wouldn't happen, but it ended up happening. We recorded a video, we recorded a verse. It was people from all over, yeah. Visalia, from. And uh, why Watson, couldn't it? Why shouldn't they? Yeah. And be right now it's doing numbers and running up. But, uh, you know, shout out to Bo Biz and, and, sure. and Mad Dog sure, for putting that together. So what you're you're on the same thing is 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 uniting people yeah. and especially like Sacramento, you know. I'm from Stockton. You know? I'm I want to get Stockton together like that, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, if we could, but I see that everybody it is pretty much tired of the uh the separation and the divide right. in Sacramento right. and not just Nathaniels, but the brothers too. Right. You know what and I mean? You got so, personal ties with two of the most reputable hoods here in right, Sacramento. For sure. You know what I mean? I definitely, you know, claim if both for the hoods and Mozzie. For those that don't know, Mazi, that's your nephew. Yeah, that's my nephew. You did know? you guys ever drop? I just seen some. I thought with y'all too. Did y'all drop 
Nah, we ain't dropped nothing new okay. yet. We working on. I'm All supposed right. to go Just down wondering. there. I'm supposed to go there. I was supposed to go down there a few times. You know what I'm saying? I've been bullshit, but you know I'm on. You know I'm on my parole right now, and I'm trying to get my shit together. But I'm I'm working on my angles. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna make that shit happen. That shit is inevitable. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know the thing is, you know GP though. I want to show you niggas though. See the reason why nigga y'all might be wondering why, why. Why that nigga ain't, he ain't came out with the Mozzie, him and the Mozzie yet? You know why? Because I want to show you niggas, nigga, that we can do it from the ground up, yeah, nigga. You you. I don't mm -hmm. want you niggas to yeah. use that as an excuse. He right. blew up, nigga, because he had Mozzie. Nah, right, nigga. Right. We not finna make that an excuse for you niggas. I'm going to blow up first, like I did the platform, and then brought Mozzie on my platform. Right, you know right. what I'm talking about? I'm doing the shit first. You know what I'm talking about? But you were popping then, before yeah. Mozzie, though, of when, when you, when so before sure you got locked up. Yeah. And now you're, you're going to continue to be it because you're yeah. telling him now even, like, yo, I'm yeah. like, hold on, I got me. Yeah, I, I'm right. saying, right I'm, I'm we'll shouting out. I'm right. good. So, I'm, nigga, you, know, you know, Mozzie told me, nigga, it tastes good when you get it out the mud. Right. You feel right. me? Right. You know what I'm talking about? Right, and you, but like I said, you were popping before Mozzie back in 2000, 2001 when you dropping your albums, sure. first rap van or, or what was it, Expedition? First rap the Expedition, yep. the first rap Bronco, the first right. rap Toyota truck, <laughs> nigga. I'm pushing all through the hood, and, and, and other labels yeah. <laughs> followed suit with the with the rap Follow vehicles. Suit. Yeah, nigga, I was the first. Hey, my nigga reminded me of the first thing I did. Fuck me up, nigga. I did an interview with my nigga in the pit. That nigga said GP. Nigga, you remember in the plazas, nigga, when you came, nigga, with the weed on the safety pin, nigga, and passed out the work, and niggas was like, what the fuck is that? I was like, nigga, this is five, yeah, this five bags, nigga. They said, I said, bring me back 40. He said, so what I'm supposed to do? Take them off every time a customer want one? No, nigga. This is how you get them from not touching them fucking the bag. You show them. They all fluffy. You say, look, which one you want? You buy them one, and then when they grab, pull it off. They like, what the fuck? I say, oh my mama, oh, I did that God. shit. This fool got dope bag clothes hangers. <laughs> nigga created that shit, nigga. The safety <laughs> pin, nigga, with the 50 yeah. ball on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. that's an OG <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I had the first rap bands, man. I did a whole lot of first shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? For real, though. I'm mm -hmm. really the first nigga to put Sacramento on the map in the feds for real, for real. That's from real shit, nigga. That shit was, nigga, I had to go through some shit with that shit. You were the only Sacramento blood in the feds? Yeah. By yourself? And it was giving you hell, huh? They tried, nigga. Hey, didn't didn't, you, didn't you say one or two of them became <laughs> lifelong partners of you? Uh, hey, uh, damn near all of them. Like, oh, okay. Damn near every nigga in the feds. Nigga, we, if that nigga's alive, we didn't tap in. We, that's we really what being 100 to get you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, because... I mean, we we heard about you back in the day, right? Back in two thousands, not just from your music, but you know your street presence. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you? you were known as a reputable. Yeah, we heard Out about Stockton, you. Out in Stockton, way. yeah. Stuff my you know, because my my, sure. my partner, my brother, um, Black Rhino, R.P. You know mm. what I mean? He was he he was actually one of the ones that uh, first started me off in the music game. You know what I mean? Because he oh. he was fucking around out here with Black Market. You know what I mean? He had the paper route, and uh, but anyways, yeah, he he. Respected you, you know what I mean. So when sure. we came down and we fucked with you with Straight Lays Magazine, man, um, it, there was the stories were already there. Yeah. You know what I mean. I'm not gonna put it out there, but the stories were there. You right. know what I mean. And right. it was some real rep reputable stuff. You know right. what I mean. So yeah, I give you your flowers, man. You know For what sure. I mean. You you been in this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. And we heard about you back then in Stockton. You know what I mean. So. It's all love and it's man, all real. You yeah, know what I cool. mean? I did some music out there. Uh, I did some music. We went up. Uh, I tapped in with the Star Wars out there. And uh, the nigga J Mac had took me out there. And we did some music out there. And, uh, you know, man, it's always been love with me, man. I, I, I always been a little different. You know, yeah. I always, you know, I just, I just, I wasn't afraid to go to other cities and other hoods, you know. Right. I just, I never was, you know. And Sometimes I, I that'll do it, too, because what you yeah. thought was your opposite, yeah. like, I guess not. You know, like, they just don't want it Well, to back then, do, like, oh, I'm, my bad, but back then uh, during the music, though, you had to, though, because it was all hand-to-hand. -hand. Right. You yeah. had to go out. Yeah, you had to go to people's studio. There was no emailing and, and <laughs> right. sending verses and stuff. Right. You had to go deal with people. So right. if you wasn't, 
you know, if you wasn't reputable, if you wasn't really about your shit, you, you wasn't getting hurt. Right. You know what I mean? If you were scared to go to other places, yeah. you wasn't getting hurt. Yeah, you ain't put it, you, It'll show. You really, right. had, you really had to go through the trenches, you right. know, and that shit was real. And it was hand-to-hand combat with the CDs. Man. You know what I mean? Like, so if you had some, uh, if you had a bad name or... You know, you had some some fucked up paperwork. <laughs> and, hey, yeah, and the and rap band, get you. you got the fucked up paperwork, and you got the rap band. Oh yeah, Nigga, it's that's over. Bad. Hey, but watch, hold on. You, uh, right now, I think probably my garage. Honestly, I think that motherfucker over there's a garage you can't see. Got two or three handed out CDs from mm, twenty years ago. Still, <laughs> yeah. even open, listen to nothing. <laughs> I got man, I got I got my whole CD collection still. I still got a book oh, full of old CDs. Wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I I just keep my, my I keep stuff. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. I like it's, it's memories and stuff. Sure. And I like I like to document stuff. Just like I like to get these books. I like, I want I want to read each one, but I want to document. I want to I want something to, so my kids could see. For hey, sure. this is this is what I went through. This is you know where I came from. Right. You know what I mean? Like my CDs when I yeah. when I started rapping. Every every feature I was on. Every every CD I had. I had a stack of them. Man, a huge stack of uh, uh, CDs. Every cover I did, and uh, when my daughter turned eighteen, I gave them to her, and I was like, "Here, these are yours. Like you do." What you want to move out, them? money, sell them. No, but you, you <laughs> do what you want. This is this is the history of your dad, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, move out, money, sell them. But no, but just just because you know what I mean, she can hear where I came from. She, yeah, she can no, see yeah, what sure. I do. Like you know, your dad was working on. Shit. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I got kids that were. Uh, old enough to know when I was a uh, active musician, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, rapping all the shit. My new kids know I did, but I don't want to hear it. I won't even hear no rap anyway. Yes. I've been playing old school to my kids. My kids know every soul, Motown, love song. Like, I'm just saying, I, I separate rap from my new children. Yeah, yeah. That shit will fuck kids up if they're not ready, and no, I'll be, I overprotect my kids, so yes. they're not ready. That shit fuck mm-hmm. the kids up right now. That nigga, we, our culture, is like the only culture, nigga, that's rapping about killing Kill our own people. Like, we didn't use a tool that we created to make us, you know, come up from the ghetto, from out of poverty, you know, our own shit. So we could really get rich and get this money, and we didn't got this sure. money, and we utilizing this shit to uh, preach that we kill our own people. In every hood, every city, every state, that's the most craziest shit ever, bro. If we ever stop that shit, Imagine, nigga, how many niggas, you know what I'm saying, will be, you know what I'm saying, able to live and, and, and multiply, you know what I'm talking about, and come together. We are killing off our own talent, and we are limiting our own power. We are doing that all by ourselves. Right. right. And not in self-defense. Not yeah. even in self-defense. Because that's the only way it's okay. for no reason. So if right. you got angry, you stood on it, you got you drunk, know, you ate it up, you it, went, I what are you doing? War. I understand war. Sure. But nigga, war is for two reasons, nigga. It's for to gain respect or to get sure. a better position. Okay, it's obviously, sure. nigga, both sides respect each other, and obviously both sides have gained a better position. You know what I'm saying? So to just say, I'm going to keep killing, well, there's no more reason to kill. I'm confused. And then yeah. when you know that you can actually kill your opposition and your opposition could kill you, that means like that's equal ammunition power. So what's the use of continuing war? Right. Let's refigure this out. Right. Cities, other states, nigga. You know, if United States go to war with China, they're not going to war forever. They going to war for a purpose, and then they come to an agreement and a decision, and they cease war, and then they continue to make money off each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to learn how to stop war. Okay, we got it, nigga. Everybody's respected. Everybody got a better position. We got it. Nigga, niggas will kill. We got that. There's no lo- there's no more need to prove that. That's yeah. not the raw nigga no more. The raw nigga is the next nigga who can stop that. Stop the next nigga from getting killed. Stop my yeah. nephew from getting killed. Stop my uncle, nigga, my brother, nigga, my partner, my bitch's brother. You know what I'm talking about? Let's stop that shit. You feel yeah. me though? Yeah. That part. Yeah. Man. For real. And that's that that man that that brings us up to the, some good you know, we're about to wrap this up man. though. Shout but look, man, shout it out me. <laughs> you got anything else to say, man? You know that you want to touch on a, a subject, something you want to speak on, something you want to get off your chest. I know you talk a lot on your on your own podcast, but man, something you want the world to know. Hey man, uh, shit, you know I didn't told what I want them to know all through the whole interview. 
But what I want them, what I want them to know, what I want them to do is really pay attention to the interview, bro. Pay attention to the it's words. Game really, game. really act on this shit. Yeah. Don't let this shit. This is what we you've been doing. You've been having good ideas. You've been hearing some game, and you just been letting it go, and they're gonna just float away. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to act on this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? This money, this shit is here. It's look at man, nigga. I am not special. All I'm doing is acting on this shit, acting on my thoughts, mm -hmm. and that shit don't really cost a lot of and money. You ain't losing. And I, hey, I'm winning, man. It's starting to get better. Now, the money was just going down and down and down, but now the shit's starting to a little bit come up and even out a little bit. It's starting to even, you know, like get a little higher and shit and shot, you know, shit's coming together, man. It ain't yeah. going to take long. It takes longer than it used to because it ain't fast money. Right. Well, I'm that's real game, man. No but you're building longevity. I'm building it on concrete. You got to build it on right. concrete. Man, I learned a lot just by sitting here, man. And yeah. You know what I mean? It's real game, man. You, yeah. Man, you talk like a preacher, bro. You know what I mean? Because you got you got that gospel. You know what, gospel, what I mean? But you got that, that gospel. gospel and, but you were, but out. but you're not afraid. You're not afraid to to teach people how to get it. You're not afraid of mo someone coming up above you. And that's what that's what's so genuine about you, man. You know what I mean? A lot of people they keep the game inside, and they're like, uh, yeah. You know they're what I mean? Like, I'm gonna help you get there. Right. I've always All said, you like, can reach man, here. I can I, I'll help anybody get, you know, but it's up to it's up to them to do the footwork. You mm. got to do the footwork. I'll give you all the game you want, but if you want me to do the footwork, I'm gonna charge you. Right. But and, and, I and, give and, you all and, the game. And, um, I'll tell you how to do it. You know what I mean? In my experiences of life, I rarely, barely ran across people that have drive. In fact, I lacked it for a long time. I'll be right there at the gate and won't. You know, I'm like, well, I'll close it off. People that don't accept defeat and run towards their vision what they think, what they believe in, what they want to try. Those that seek what's over the hill, but they were scared, but it was win anyway, or was it win? All right. Don't quit, man. You know, we're always moving. afraid of the unknown, nigga, but you still got to enter it, nigga, like you've been entering it. Into the you, you can't be afraid of failure because you've already failed hella times. By it's wondering. You, by, nigga, you... How many times did you fall when you tried to learn how to walk, but oh. your ass kept getting back up, right? You ain't <laughs> how many times did you fall off that bike, but you got back on it, right? Back, how many back. times did you almost drown, nigga, but you still got back in the water? Right. Nigga, you gonna learn. How many times it took for you to learn how to tie your shoes? Preach. You been failing, nigga, but you learned, nigga, because you wasn't afraid of failure when you were younger. You nigga, you asked for shit, nigga, you motherfucker, you seen some shit, you, you knew like, you hey, was nigga, building nigga, the nigga, let me get some of that. Yeah. Like, okay, here you go, you oh, so cute. What? Yeah, you know, you you wasn't afraid. You, nigga, hold on, nigga, let me get some of that. And nigga, now you gonna start crying, right? And you always got it, right? What happened was, when your ass got older, your mama said, like, nigga, like, damn, <laughs> nigga, don't be doing all that, nigga. Like, <laughs> when he started crying, I'm like, wow! <laughs> we get in my house and shit. Shut the hell up, I'm sorry. Yeah, they thought this nigga about to slap me. I almost reacted, nigga. Shit. We were about to go viral, man. We were about to go viral, GP. Hey, but nigga, when you got older, your mama started telling you, boy, nigga, money don't grow on trees. We ain't rich around here, nigga. I'm not buying that toy. And she fucked up your confidence. And nigga, you start getting afraid to ask for the shit you wanted. Cause she start teaching you, nigga, quit asking, nigga. And you quit asking. And when you got older, yeah, she nigga, said you quit trying to get it, nigga. But when you was young, nigga, you was adamant. You was at that shit, nigga. Give me that, nigga. I'm hungry, nigga. Man. Give me that toy, nigga. I want this, I want that. Nigga, but you lost it because she fucked you up. But not yeah. on purpose. It's just no. that because, you know, she didn't have the money and she was trying to, you Man. know, let you know that bunny don't grow on trees. Right. But, nigga, get that confidence back that you can get it. Like, you can get that girl you like and you can get this money. You know what I'm saying? And quit making up all these motherfucking excuses yeah, all That's the time. what it really be. Is right. The thoughts of excuses. And that's game, man. Some way. Hey, man, I appreciate you. But look. We gotta have you back, okay? We yeah. gotta have you back, cause I mean, you just you spit that shit. Yeah. Like it, it ain't gotta be like anytime soon, right now. But it is what it we is. Gotta, anytime, man. I fuck man, with y'all. We, we gotta have you back, man. You GP so, the Beast, uncut, no hey, smart. Hey. Tap in with my channel, man. Bro. Tap into GP yeah, the Beast, going live man. Every night at eleven too. Shout out, man. Hey, you know what I'm hey. Saying? He spits game like this every day. Hey, so, hey, I mean, hey, he hit lace your boots every day. If you day, need some inspiration, attention. you need a little bit of game, man, from a real reputable, Word you know up. what I mean? Bro. Someone without Word no up. paperwork. Mm. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, holla at GP the Beast, man. Yeah. Hey, Beast. Insane, J King, GP, Yo. man, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Hey, 
One love. We'll hey, just we out of here, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man. That's how we do it. And don't forget sure, to like and subscribe. Tap, it, tune tap it in. in with the channel. GP the Beast, Uncut, no smut. Nigga on the YouTube no and the Instagram. Right. Peace. Peace.